O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brother and my sisters, let us call to mind our sin as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since Without you, mortal frailty can do nothing. Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah the Tishite, Start down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He will be in the vineyard of Naboth, of which he has come into possession. This is what you shall tell him. The Lord says, after murdering, do you also take possession? For this, the Lord says, in the place where the dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, the dogs shall lick up your blood too. Ahab said to Elijah, have you found me out, my enemy? Yes, he answered because you have given yourself up to doing evil in the Lord's sight and will cut off every male in Ahab's line, whether slave or free man in Israel. I will make your house like that of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, that like that of Basha, son of Aisha, because of how you have provoked me by leading Israel into sin. Against Jezebel too, the Lord declared, the dog shall devour Jezebel in the district of Je Jezreel. When one of Ahab's line dies in the city, dogs will devour him. When one of them dies in the field, the birds of the sky will devour him. Indeed, no one gave himself up to the doing of this evil in the sight of the Lord as did Ahab, urged on by his wife Jezebel. He became completely abominable by following idols, just as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord drove out before the children of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He flat fasted slept in sackcloth, and went about subdued. Then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishlet, Have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, 
I will not bring evil in his time. I will bring the evil upon his house during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my guilt. Free me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue shall revel in your justice. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we continue with the, uh, what we call the Elijah cycle, and tomorrow we have the conclusion of that, where Elijah is taken up in the whirlwind with the fiery chariots to the Lord, and his uh, ministry continues in his successor, Elisha. Uh, We heard today about his confrontation of King Ahab. Uh, We don't hear the conclusion of the story, though. And in fact, what happens uh, is The prophecy of Elijah comes to fulfillment when his son, Ahab's son, is wounded in battle. And as they're cleaning out his chariot of the blood that's in his chariot, having been mortally wounded, the dogs come and lick up the remainder of it. Gruesome stories from the Old Testament. The beautiful story, though, of course, is from the words the example of Jesus. We must go beyond what the law says. And to go beyond the law means to love radically, dramatically. To love even those who would do us harm. Those are words we need to hear these days, huh? When there's such division over something as silly as politics. To love, to love deeply. I love even those who we can't understand. What a challenge. 
but in the Eucharistic food and drink that we receive, there we have the power and the ability to do that. Shall we pray? For the Holy Church of God, for our young ones who continue to receive their First Communion during these days, and for those who still await the sacraments of initiation, and that we throughout the world may be a church of welcoming, of healing, and of hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve us in public office, that they may be generous in their service and seek the good of all people, especially their healing and wholeness, and for the protection of human life at all of its stages, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked us to pray for them, the poor, the needy, the lonely, the unemployed, for those without an anchor in these days, and especially for the sick and those who tend to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for vocations to the priesthood, the religious life, to the diaconate, to the married life, to continued witness in the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, especially for Monsignor Dan O'Connor, who once pastored this church on the anniversary of his passing. For him and for all those who have nourished us with their faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I invite you now quietly in your hearts to bring to God your needs and the hungers that others have entrusted to you. For all these needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, may we love you in all things and above all things, and reach the joy you prepare for us beyond our imagining. All this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my brothers and my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide will not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, his brother Bishops Bernard and Joel, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. There is one thing I ask of the Lord. Only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thank be to God. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesu. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen.